Hey guys, welcome to another episode of English Plays, hosted by me, Dead English, and today I'm going to be bringing you some Gears of War. This is the very first one in the series. It came out in 2006, if I remember correctly, on the Xbox 360, and 2007 on the PC. It's made by a company called Epic Games, which was fronted by Cliff Blazinski till he left recently, and this was kind of his uh, baby while he was there. Um, yeah, I remember watching a bunch of little documentaries before this came out, and he fought really hard to keep everything that he wanted in there. So you can't fault him for that. He, uh, he, sound, he says a lot of things like on Twitter and stuff like that, and comments on a lot of things that I think he doesn't need to comment on. He doesn't, it's not really like he's obnoxious with it, but he, he comments on a lot of things that I think don't pertain to him. But uh, he definitely uh, put out the games he wanted to put out while at this company. And he doesn't seem like that bad of a dude in the video game industry, so he always uh, appreciates seeing people like that. But anyway, so I'm playing this on PC, and I'm playing it on a Windows Live offline account because this PC is offline and I don't hook it up to the internet so we got that and since Windows Live is kind of dead in about a month <laughs> it severely cripples this game it's got no more co-op it's got no more verses uh, Microsoft really screwed over Gears of War and every Windows Live game in that kind of sense um, just because they were obnoxious with their thoughts on digital rights uh, management aka DRM and there was just no need if people like your game they're gonna buy your game if they don't like you they're not gonna buy your game either way so if you go about screwing people over they're not gonna support your game it's just as simple as that so yeah that's my view on games for Windows Live I'm glad it's dead but I'm I'm kind of sorry to see it go since a bunch of stuff is tied to it, like co-op and versus on so many games. So let's go for single player. I have played a little bit into this. Um, I wonder why Act 4 is blocked. Anyway, yeah, I played, to say I played a little bit of it is a understatement. I played quite a bit through it just to test it out just to make sure my recording works in every part and to get I get good frame rates at the graphics quality that I want so yeah it worked out pretty well I'm playing at maxed graphics since this is kind of an old game the 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 graphics hold up like pretty well uh, but it just runs on old old kind of schematics so I guess my my PC is able to handle it. Here we go. Jack, rip that door. What are you doing here? Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? We can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. See, I think it holds up pretty well. Um, one thing I do have to say, before I saw or played anything like this um I was very unfamiliar with how people viewed space marines like in this and doom 3 and unreal tournament all of those kind of games these guys are just fucking tree trunks with torsos it, it never really made sense to me halo with all its fucking plot holes and like failures as a shooter it had normal looking, normal like proportioned people. This I never understood. Like, look at the size of the foot and leg. 
And I got big feet. I got size 17 shoes. But this, this still don't make sense to me. But it fits the aesthetic of this game, so I'll let it slide. But I just, I never, I never was really used to seeing people look kind of this proportion. <laughs> I like the way he runs. Oh, oh, shoot! Fuck, fuck. You fucking kidding me? Six four, we are moving your location. Move. Grab the Let me grab the ammo first. And what? That was a perfect reload, you cocksucker. This one, this game had a really cool mechanic where it had the perfect reload. Where if you timed it right, I think it was a stronger ammo type. Something like that that was in your gun instead of your regular ammo. If you hit it just right, your next few shots would be stronger, I believe. It's been a while since I played this through, like when it first came out. When it first came out, I remember my friend immediately getting his financial aid check. He got his financial aid check, ran to Best Buy, I went with him, um, and he bought an Xbox 360, this game, and then gave the rest of the money to his mom. He was living with his mom at the time. And I thought that was just crazy, and like I thought it was a huge waste of money buying a system when it first, like, it, not when it first came out, but it was about a year after it came out, and it just, okay, I understand, and it was just like a huge amount of money, and no one at that point was really reporting the red rings. And his system eventually did a uh, red ring on him. But yeah, he bought this and I slept over his house a few days later. And I ended up being the game for him. Like he was sleeping. He didn't ask me to beat the game. I just got really into the game and he fell asleep. And like six hours later, I finished it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let me look over the other shoulder. Come on, motherfucker. Pop out. There you go. Really? You want me to flank left? Even though you're fucking left? Fine, I'll go out into the middle of the fucking gunfire. They're coming for me! Oh, gotcha. Anyway. I would say this really, uh, helped out and brought back, like, the popularity of the third-person shooter. Before this, there was, like, Halo, of course, and even a few red factions and then there was uh there was unreal tournament quake which were the popular which were the popular uh combative ones and then like half life and of course all that and counter strike but this took you out of there and put the player on the screen so you can see i think this uh really brought that back and it certainly did a lot for the xbox 360 uh, I don't. I shouldn't have to even say that. It goes without mention how this certainly boosted a lot of its sales. Like I said, it came out a year after the system came out, and it's much like the systems nowadays. You got the Xbox One and the PS4, and then you got Titanfall coming out close to half a year after Xbox One comes out, and all of a sudden it's a huge reason to buy Xbox One for a bunch of people. And months after. Titanfall comes out, they see that it's a huge, like, system seller, so they bundle it with Xbox One. You can't get much uh, bigger than that. 
Resident Evil PS4 had uh, Infamous Second Son, of course. And it's got Watch Dogs first, I believe. I don't remember correctly, but I think that was part of the part of the deal they made. I think Watch Dogs came out first on PS4. I'm not sure though. But yeah. This uh this was a this was a huge system seller back in its day, just like you see system sellers coming out now. Even though they're not launch titles, I can't think of one Xbox 360 launch title that was a system seller like this or Halo would have been. Looks to me like we need all the help we can get. Step aside. Lieutenant, I've got good news. What's it say on his arm? Heart? I don't know. Sensors are picking up enemy movements, sir, close by. Hey, pretty lady. She doesn't look that pretty, but I imagine he's been in prison for a very long time. So any woman, any woman is appealing to him. Turn it down a little bit in my head. Oh, I see he's holding the Lancer. I'm glad about that. That was a huge thing with this game. The Lancer, just the violence that you could perpetrate with a, with a machine gun that had a chainsaw as its kind of bayonet. That was just... That was a huge enticement when this game was first coming out, I remember. And Cliff Lewinsky fought so hard to keep it in. People wanted to take it out, but he just... He had the vision. He said, nope, this is what's going to fucking make this game. And it's true. The first time you fucking chainsaw a guy, don't get much better than that. Especially in fucking multiplayer. Oh, man. <laughs> you fucking... You flank a dude, and then you chainsaw him. You're, you're pretty much the MVP of your team at that point. I remember there were two things in... Uh, in multiplayer that were important, at least to me. Or not at least to me, there were two things that were important in multiplayer to most people. There was a uh, flanking if you could get around to the other side of the team, which was kind of hard because most of the multiplayer maps, if I remember correctly, were uh, long, thin maps. So it didn't give you a lot of wiggle room. You had to go up the middle when they were going around the side, or you had to go underneath when they were going above, that type of thing. And just hope they didn't go underneath. And the other thing was, every time you played multiplayer, I remember someone saying, Let me get the sniper. Yo, let me get the sniper. I remember that. Sniping in this game was no easy fucking task either. And they're fucking dead. See ya, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah, I have a funny multiplayer story. The same friend who bought this game, my uh, my brother and he were friends also. So I was over there, and my brother was over there, and he was my friend was playing the game. Well, blank left on these motherfuckers. And my friend was playing the game. Cover. So my brother's like, let me get the headset. So my friend wasn't using the headset, so my brother just got on there. I was like, you guys need to be more productive. You guys need to work as a team. What are you doing? You guys need a captain. And started like just fucking trolling them. Trolling them pretty hard. So they ended up kicking, kicking someone off because of it thinking that that guy was the one that was talking on the headset and <laughs> my friend's uh, gamer tag I'm not going to say it was uh, let's say it was like Dungeon Lord or whatever it wasn't anything close to that but they were like man can you believe that Dungeon Lord can you believe it that guy was just talking so much shit and my friend would get on as Dungeon Lord and he would be like yeah I, I can't believe it crazy right <laughs> My brother got a few people kicked because he was being a troll. 
Yeah, just fond memories of that. Oh, I got hit. Let's go over this way. I like this gun. Um, for these kind of situations, a little better than the Lancer because the Lancer takes some time to heat up to melee, and if someone's this close to you, it can fuck you over pretty quickly. Let's see. Am I getting hit from the left here? Yeah, I am. Let's do the perfect reload. Oh, fuck. There we go. Let's get his goodie. Oh, that was a good reload. Let's... Is that close? Okay, that's closed. I fucking hate these holes, man. No matter what level I play on, if I see I'll one of those, those holes, fucking trouble. Hate it. Oh. 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 oh fuck. There you go. Let's get let's get the lancer out since they're not too close. Just ran out of ammo. Come on, dude. There we go. I'm really excited, man. There's a lot of big things happening on the internet today. Evolve got a release date. This movie I was looking forward to, Wish I Was Here, or Wish I Were Here, uh, it's the new Zach Braff, uh, Zach Braff movie, the one that he got a lot of shit for doing Kickstarter for, which I never understood, because Veronica Mars did Kickstarter, and everyone fucking suck the dick of the people doing that but Zach Braff did it and people were like you're a huge Hollywood person why are you doing this when Zach Braff really isn't no big no more a bigger star than the people the fucking Veronica Mars possible KIA no so oh froze Roger that so yeah so I was like what the fuck but yeah I'm glad to see that it has a trailer is this guy stuck on me is that what it's going on here but, yeah. Oh, flip. But, yeah, um... I mean, I'm paused. But, yeah, the the trailer... Sorry, I had to scratch my head. The trailer looks super cool. And it looks like something I wasn't really expecting. I was expecting more, like, Garden State, but it looks... It looks like a mature Garden State, which I'm excited for. I know that has nothing to do with video games and in a year when this video is still up on YouTube and the movie is out on DVD or Blu-ray, it's not gonna fucking really matter, but it's just how I'm feeling. And Evolve getting a release date is really cool too. Even though I don't have internet, I'm really into those co-op type of games like Left 4 Dead. And even uh, the free game that was on Steam, if anyone remembers, it was called like Alien Swarm, I believe. Anyone remember that one? Yeah, it was kind of like it was kind of like um, a little Left 4 Dead TF2 kind of mix up or mash up uh, in the sense that it had different classes like TF2, but also had you facing these swarms of things which were aliens instead of infected. But yeah, I used to play the shit out of that game. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's get it. Let's try not to get stuck on anything. Let's try not to get stuck on anything. Look at the duck and cover system, how fluid it is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fluid, but Sweet. it's also kind of hard to move around since I get stuck on everything. How many grenades do I still got? Oh, I got two. There were more back there, I know. I could have probably gone and refilled them, but... 
perfect reload while running! Yeah, boy! I really like how this game looks, man. And I'm glad that I'm able to play it on maxed out settings for you guys. That's always a plus, right? <laughs> well, it could be Alpha. Dog it could be Omega. Dog. Is that the resonator? Yeah. Now what? Let's get that resonator. Marcus. Control, this is Delta. What's that thing what do you say think? on his arm? What do I think? Could be Alpha. Or it could be the Locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know for sure. Our next target is House of Sovereigns. Straight ahead. Move. Right on. Guy looks like a little ODST. Kind of out of place with these tree trunks of men. Let's flank! Okay, don't need to look over there. Over here? Yep! Bitch! Okay. So I took out the machine gunner. Can I turn this all the way around? Yeah, I can! Does this overheat or does it have any sort of mechanic where it's not infinite ammo? I guess it just... I guess it kind of becomes irrelevant when we advance downfield. Oh! This. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, come on. No time for reload. Get back up, you cocksucker. Got one. Got him. Watch it. Well, don't run in the way next time. How about that? Jeez. I'll flank, of course. Thank you. Oh, jumpy jumpy. Oh fuck, I hate this part. Fucking hate it! Come on. There should be a hole opening right there. Where? Where? Oh, right there. Okay. There we go. Fuck! Get behind cover! Where's it opening up? Come on, throw it in there. Bitch. They're all coming out. For the good of the team. Are you kidding me? Did I seal it up? I fucking didn't seal it up yet? Jesus. Get in. Get over, you dummy! You dummy! <laughs> Asshole. Okay, so let's give it another try. Let's go. Let's not get stuck on anything. Okay, here we go. Where? Okay. Let's do that. Thank you. Let's do that. There we go. I hope that worked. Can't shit 
one shot on me. Where? Oh, fuck. Last grub hole. Oh, I shouldn't be running out here. I should not be running out here. God. Nope, nope. Now shoot your leg. Shoot your leg. And I'll shoot your leg. Oh! I'll shoot your head. Come on, get the full book. There you go. Let's grab some ammo. I need some ammo. Follow I need me. my mommy. We would have figured out some kind of goddamn defense by now. Yeah. Looks like we need we to split up. Everything, but nothing works. Locus want to come up? Uh, let's go left. Phoenix, you and Carmine will go left. Dom and I will go right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got the ODST with me. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. That's, uh... You seriously? That was a fucking dick shot. Get off him! Where am I going? Am I going into the bathroom? I'm going into the bathroom. Let's check out the toilets. Can I destroy the toilet? Nope. Well, I could destroy the toilets. I just can't destroy the toilets with my gun. <laughs> okay, good. We got a checkpoint. What the fuck? Dude, don't sneak up on something like that. There's another nest around the corner. With a on the right. Oh, I'm trying to run. I see ammo. Okay. I'm uh going to flank and try to take out the guy on the right. This is my job. This is my mission. My purpose. There we go. Where are you, mother? Oh, you! There we go. Well, at least I was able to melee him. Don't get off the gun. Stay on the gun. Stay on target. <laughs> the music sounded like na 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 na. <laughs> oh, there's still a guy down there. That's what happened. Where are they shooting at? Is there another guy? Oh! You are kidding me! I meleeed him! There's another nest around the corner! Yep. Spotter, on the right! Take him out first! Going in quiet! Quick and quiet! Got him. Got him. Okay. Oh, let me get the grenades. What? Someone get on that troika. What's the troika? The turret? You guys keep them distracted. Yeah. 
Oh, I missed my shot. This is why this gun is better in uh, close combat. Of course, shotgun is better with close combat with everything, but... Fuck you. Really, dude. I do not appreciate you guys fucking insubordination. Good job, man. Now let's go find that resonator. Move out. What? I just heard some. Where? Oh. Out of the way. Oh! Good. Good slice him up, dude. Good slice him up there. I think that's the end of that part. Patrol, this is Delta Squad. Any word from Alpha? Negative Delta. We still have radio silence. So I'm gonna cut the video off there. Um, thanks for watching the first part, and I hope you guys like it. Tune in for more, of course. Um, yeah. See you, dudes.